hello, hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Fannin. Listen to me. For the past week or so, whenever I've gotten mad, scared, worried, aggravated, or concerned, I have just asked the Lord to help me control my emotions. That was an idea I got from my wonderful aunt, Deb Fannin. Even though she is not a Christian, she just told me when I'm un when I am unhappy, mad, scared, or concerned, I just need to control my emotions. She she did not say I need to pray to control them, but she just said I need to I need to control my emotions. And after she told me that, from then till now, I have been praying to control my emotions every time I every time I knew I needed to. Now listen to me. This has really, 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 really helped me personally solve several problems I've had in my life. So listen to me. Whenever you are mad, worried, scared, unhappy, remember, Matthew 6 says, ask, I mean, not Matthew 6, but Matthew 5 says, if we forget, pardon me, I meant to say Matthew 6 I'm sorry, I'm a little messed up. I meant to say, Matthew 6 says, Matthew 6 says, if we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will, we will be forgiven. I repeat, Matthew 6, Matthew 6 says, if we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we do not forgive them, neither will we be forgiven. Matthew 7 says, ask and you shall receive. I repeat, Matthew 7 says, ask and you shall receive. I, I am, I am going to repeat that one time, one more time. Matthew 7 says, ask and you shall receive. And Matthew 6 says, if we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we do not forgive them, neither will we be forgiven. And also remember that. John 15 says, Without the Lord we can do nothing. John 8 says, Satan, who is also called the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. Hebrews 13 says, The Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who... Who strengthens me. James chapter 1 says, let every man be slow to speak and slow to wrath. So listen to me. This has worked for me personally. Whenever you are angry, scared, mad, or worried, after you have read some or all of those passages, if you don't know them by heart, if you do not know them by heart, read, read some or all of those passages, and after that, Ask the Lord to help you control your emotions, no matter if you're mad, scared, worried, upset, or all of the above. Ask Him to help you control your emotions. But if, but if you don't know these passages by heart, I suggest doing doing that after you've read all or some of them. This has helped me personally. I repeat, this this has helped me personally, and I truly hope it will help you. And. Also, one more thing, in one moment. Okay, also, if you are, if you are forgetful like me, if you are, if you are forgetful like me, I strongly urge you, make a reminder to either watch this video or follow this advice, but say in that reminder, either watch this video or follow, or, or follow this advice whenever you are mad, scared, worried, upset, and or busy. I also recommend doing it if you're busy and and, pe and and people keep bothering you. If you're busy if you're busy and people keep bothering you, then that would be a fantastic time to follow this advice too. No need no need to thank me. I hope this helps you. Please like, share and subscribe and also please 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 let me know if this helps you in the let me know let me know if this helps you in the comments below. Thank you very much.